Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello and welcome and in today's video it's going to be a practical demonstration of uh, using this which is a uh, genuine factory uh, Hardings radius turning attachment. Um, I'll be using it on my uh, Hardings uh, HLV. Um, I don't know whether some of you may have remember have seen the, the video of the, of the shop tour that the mention on there that Philips machines were painted in white, blue, and yellow. Well, as we can see, this is this is a, 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 a it's very grubby, but it's it's uh, this this was the cream that the uh, machines were painted. Now this radius turning attachment can turn uh, concave and convex up to one and three quarter uh, inches of radius. Now the, the the way you set this is is this this is a um, this is a reference point. This reference point is exactly one and three quarters from the pivot point. So say for argument's sake you wanted to do a uh, three quarters of an inch um, internal radius, what you would do is, is actually place a, a one inch slip gauge in between in between the two there. Oops, sorry, <laughs> part of fingers. Uh, slip that in in between there. Uh, lock it up with a with an allen key on the side uh, you can then do a you can't see the allen keys down the back but so you, it's got you've got fine adjust you've got fine adjustment on on here to you know to, 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 to get your get your accuracy and then it's as I say it uh, it rotates around like that <coughs> now it has a cross slide on it which is which has got also got a direct reading dial so that it's a 50 thou um, lead screw and a hundred thousand dollars. So when you're making your part, you've just got to mic it up and say, "Oh, there's another thirty thousand to come off." Um, put thirty thousand on the dial, and away you go. Now, of course, when it comes to turning a uh, an external radius a ball, to to calculate that, you've actually got to have uh, one and three quarter inches uh, slicks plus whatever you you're going to need to um, to turn your uh, ball diameter so in this instance what I'm going to do is, is demonstrate um, turning a it was going to be a one inch ball but, it, but the material is only two thou over so I think that may not clean up at that so I'm actually going to machine the ball to 950 diameter so what we need to do is to put slips in between there and here to the value of, of 2.2 25 yes, two inches, 225 power. I'll uh, I'll get some slips out and I'll show you on uh, how we're going to do that. Right, so I now have in place here the uh, the 2.225 slip gauges. I'm going to use a piece of um, four thou shim to uh, to protect the, the the slip gauges from the from the tools. So I'll just lightly push that forward. I lock the lock the carriage on there, the allen key on the side, out of sight of course, and then so we can, we can actually now make a uh, fine adjustment on here, make sure that we've uh, yeah, there, I've zero, zero the dial, that's a train going by, sorry, set the dial to zero, Remove the shim, remove the slip, advance this another force out to compensate for the uh, shim, and away we go, and we'll lock that one down as well. So that is now the um, set to turn our, our 950 um diameter ball. So we'll now adjourn over to the to the lathe and actually set it up and, and show you it working. Let's meet you over there. Bye. So we're now over at the lathe uh, set up. As you can see, it's uh, it's it's quite a simple uh, mechanism. See, now the biggest problem that you're going to get is I'll, I'll, this is a spoiler. Alert. I've already tried this, and it's only about 80% successful. Um, the reason being is this here. It's it's interfering it's interfering with the headstock and you can see how much I've got sticking out and it still won't still won't clean up to a full diameter. Now back in 1950, I mean I suppose this was the the bee's knees of radius turning attachments. 
um, because then um, uh, CNC hadn't been invented and the only other option was either a form tool which would give you bad chatter marks or um, a copying attachment on, on, a, on, a, on a lathe. Now I haven't tried this, but I should, but but uh, you know I, I can not imagine any any problems doing a uh, concave surface or, or putting a full radius on the end of the bar. It's just this uh, it's just this interference problem just here that's that's going to give us uh, give us some trouble. Anyway, so I think what we'll do is now is is we'll uh, we'll cut the netter and get on with some uh, get on with some machining. So here we go. Right. So put a put a feed on. kerosene on it, or, or paraffin as it's known in England. As you can see it, it's forming quite quickly. I say we've just cleaned up on the one inch diameter. We're hit. We're aiming for 950. So let's um, see what we've uh, see what we've got at the moment. And we have, and we have, and we have, and we have 975, 80, 990. So it's 40 out to go. So what I'll do is I'll I'll reset the dial here to zero. And we'll take it we'll take another 30 and then and then measure again that's 10 25 again and see how far we got this time and we are now down to we are now down to uh, 9.59 so another nine to go that's eight or try eight I mean this is, this is only just a demonstration but I mean just showing you how easy it is to, uh, you know, to get your um, finished ball. Two to go.
wipe off and see what we have. Ah, see. <laughs> so under. Oh well, never mind. See what's what's in the demo. Now, if this is a truly round ball, what we should get is 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 the same measurement uh, diagonally. Uh, which we don't, unfortunately. I mean, it's nine sixty that way. It's nine nine sixty that way, but but diameter wise, um, we're under. So it's it's not it's not a truly round ball. I mean, that really comes down to you know to real accurate setting up of the radius because you know the the the, the diameter must be the same as the radius to end up with a with a perfectly round ball. But anyway, but I mean, as you can see, it's uh, it's. Uh, fairly uh, easy to do and in fact I'm surprised that that's th I mean this one has actually cleaned up better than the than the other one did but mind you I've got a lot more um, clearance here uh, and also I've got a lot more sticking out um, but there we are that's the uh, that's the radius turn in attachment we will now um, conclude this bit and um, have a chat about some conclusions see you soon bye So, in conclusion then, um, did it turn out okay? Well, it's a sort of, it's a sort of a ball. As, as I say, the, the biggest problem there was it, it looks as though that I didn't set the set the radius up um, accurately enough. That's why it's sort of it's, it's egg shaped. I mean, the, the the radius must be set to the to the full diameter that you want. I mean, as, as I say, it's 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 ten tail over um, when you measure diagonally. But uh, anyway, as I say, it's it, it's an exercise. Um, well, what's the next situation? I think, to be honest, um, I'm just going to clean it up, oil it up, put it in a plastic bag, hide it back in the back of the cabinet, and probably it'll sit there, never to see the light a day in my lifetime. Because, to, to be honest, um, I mean, other other than, than if I wanted to put a full radius on the end of a bar or a concave um, surface, which I've, I've never done yet, never needed to do yet in 50 years. Um, I think it's just going to sit in the dark, um, amusing itself. Uh, should I ever need to um, uh, make a, a, a ball again, I think I think what I'll do is I'll I'll I'll, I'll try the method that um, Double Boost in the UK uses. He he's he's, he's got a cheap uh, boring boring head on a parallel shank that fits in a in a bearing in his, in his um, uh, tool post with a, with a handle on the end, and, and that tool passes uh, on the centre line uh, over the top. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a, uh, a link to the video in the uh, in the description below. So I think that's enough said for this subject. I uh, hope you found a little bit of a, amusement out of it. Um, as per usual, um, subscribe, ring the bell, click the like, send me a comment, good or bad, if if uh, if you feel that way inclined and until the next video wherever you are in the world please stay safe well and happy and catch you on the next video bye